In any professional sport, the correct diet has become integral to high performance. Top line tennis is no different. Food is your fuel. I mean, it fuels your body, fuels your life and your health, your well-being, and it all starts there. Um, I mean, if you're putting poisons and toxins in your body, how can you expect to, uh, that your car to work well? Nutrition has uh, come up on, on an extremely important level in these last uh, several years. I think uh, from tennis part, and then you have a phys fitness part, and then now nutrition is, I think, just, just behind the fitness. And I'm taking care of that so much, and uh, I feel that it helps me also uh, to feel good in the court for my recovery, also that, uh, that my body is getting what it needs to get. Sport dietitian Nancy Guest from the University of Toronto is one of the leading lights in the science behind sustenance. When we're putting that much physical pressure on our bodies, we really need to be concerned with the quality of the nutrition going in. And so my expertise is making sure that each individual athlete and their food preferences, their food likes, the time of day they like to eat, we have to make sure we incorporate all that and give them a personalized program. It's important to sort of know what works well for you. Everybody's different. Nobody conforms well to the exact same plan. And having that sort of uh, prescribed and individualized plan is incredibly important so you can get the most out of yourself. It's actually half the battle. I mean, everything you do on the practice court, everything you do in the gym, everything you do treatment-wise with, with your trainer, that's all very important. But the diet is equally as important. I know I have to eat a lot, but I know I, I, know I have to eat very healthy. You need to prepare, I think, a little bit more especially coming into warm conditions and all that. And I think you do a lot of different tests. Um, I mean, I, I, for example, do a blood test and we kind of see from there what I need to be focusing on more. The science is, has really surged in, I'd say, the past 20 years. And now we know that we have to be very specific with nutrient timing, what to eat, when to eat, how much to eat. And this is really crucial for uh, maximizing your performance. Novak Djokovic has stated his switch to a vegan gluten-free diet in 2010 was the key to his years of dominance in the sport, a dramatic illustration that the science behind nutrition works. I obviously thought that I was eating well in up to 2010, but you know, I wasn't. I had uh, plenty of allergies and you know, uh, intolerances and reactions, and I, ever since I, I think was seven years old, I had I never had an allergic reaction ever in my life after I changed you know, my diet, put the gluten out and dairy products and, and refined sugar. You know, those, those were the three big things that also I, I learned every day and try to, I guess, uh, improve my own health, my own well-being, be, you know, eat consciously, eat you know, whole food, organic, um, as, as best as food as possible, obviously. And ever since then, it became a passion of mine. And, um, so yeah, I mean, it has definitely affected my, my tennis as well.